this time, we're going to turn it over to Robert. Amen. If we would just, um, maybe in the back, go to the verse there, the next slide. I'd like to just read that next slide. And it says, She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. You know, friends, this is real. It's what Christmas is all about. It's what, what um, life is. Um, it's why God, before the foundation of the world, it's why he created a way to be so we could be redeemed. He knew us. He knew you. It is real. How real does it seem to you? I, I love the story, just too many times we go through through just kind of a walk, maybe a ritual. It's Christmas time, and it means different things. But the reality is, friends, it's salvation and redemption, it's wholeness, it's meaning of living, it's, it's everything, what Christmas really stands for. Because, see, Jesus was born... To save his people from their sins. That was the message the angel gave to Mary before Jesus was born. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save. Now that's the Greek word sozo. He shall save. It's Greek word number 4982. His people from their sins. You know, I love this display. I, I think those responsible did such a beautiful job. He came to save. And if you notice in the bulletin, that word could really be, it's, it is the word sozo. He came to S-O-Z-O, sozo. It's, it's pronounced with a D. But he came to save. You know, that's such a powerful word. I th it's so fitting that the cross is behind the cradle. You know, friends, remember when, when we done um, the Inn of Bethlehem? Uh, it, it really, as we think of this, this word, sozo, it has so much to do with when we walked through and... and Lily and I had there for a number of years was in this back room and, and there was always, it felt like the Lord provided. Somebody had a little baby just in time to represent Jesus in that cradle. But as people would come in, you know, part of the thing that we would do is read the story over there in Luke chapter 2. And then we'd say something like this, not the 12 days of Christmas, and then my wife would, would enter in and Lily would just say, but the 12 words of Christmas. And the 12 words were, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. But you know, the reality is, is they were on clean straw over here. There was a, a nice smelling stable. But the truth is, is what was just talked about. The clothing probably was not clean. Her blue dress or whatever was probably soiled. And maybe even from the blood of birth. And you can imagine that Mary was crying out, God, I heard you. I, I know that I met the angel. But God, why here? Surely not tonight. And she was probably crying out and praying. But you know, that night, and I remember we would say this over and over, and each time it would kind of get a hold of my heart. You know, that night they held baby Jesus. But friends, today, Jesus holds us. He's holding you. He's the Savior of the world. It was the plan of redemption. 
It's the realness of the story. It's what it means when it says he came to save, sozo. That word means, it's translated different English words, but it's used 110 times in the New Testament. It's a Greek word that simply is pronounced sozo. It's like a, Z, a D in there, sozo. It means to save, make whole, heal, be whole. It's the idea of restored and redeemed. So now you could say he came to save. He came to heal. He came to make us whole. He came to make us complete. It's this word sozo. And you'll see it used in the scriptures. His disciples, when they were in the boat with Jesus and, and this storm came up on the lake, the Sea of Galilee, you know what word they used when they were crying out to Jesus? Jesus, save us. It's sozo. Hey, redeem us. Keep us safe. Protect us. We're going to drown. We're going to perish. And Jesus spoke a word. Because that's what he came for, is to sozo, to save us. He spoke a word and he said, peace, be still. You know, there's a woman that we can read about in Matthew 9. And we know the story. Jesus was on his way to another house. But there's this woman that had a bleeding issue for over 12 years. She, as the Bible says she spent all that she had on doctors. And so she's, but she's hearing about Jesus and she, she's believing. There's a stirring of faith. And she says to herself, if I could just touch, if I could just touch him, I don't even have to, you don't have to say nothing to me. If I could just touch him, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be sozo. I shall be saved. I shall be made whole. I should be restored. That's the same word. It's that same word. How Jesus came to save. I love that. He came to save. He came to sozo. But it's a, it's a powerful word. More in that word than we can understand. It's completeness. It has everything to do, friends, with who you are in Jesus Christ. It has everything to do when we start understanding the completeness. We understand that now we're in Christ. It means that we died when he died. We were buried when he was buried and we rose when he rose. And now we live in sozo, wholeness, completeness. And the woman believed and she said, if I can just touch him, and some of you this morning, some of us have an area in our heart that we just say, God, it is real. This story is real. And here in just a moment, we're going to have a song that, that is going to be sang by our worship team. And, and the invitation is, is an open altar. And friends, I don't know of a better time than just to say, God, I believe it's real. I don't even have to speak my need, but I'd like to be like this woman. Could I just touch, as an act of faith, touch your garment? Would you heal me? Would you sozo bring me to completeness, wholeness, whether it's in your body, whether it's in your soul emotionally or spirit? Maybe you need salvation and you need a touch from God. Just simply saying, I want to live for Jesus Christ. Appreciate Jacob shared his testimony with me the other day. and He was going to be baptized on Wednesday. I don't know if you heard when we introduced you or not, but he wasn't here, I don't think, then. But Friends, maybe you need to be baptized along with him on Wednesday. And if you do, let us know. We'll pray with you. But that's what Christmas is about. See, when Peter was walking on the water. Maybe God's calling you into just a, a greater step of faith. Peter had confessed that Jesus was the Christ, the Savior. 
and he believed. And God said, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you, but my spirit. Now Peter is in a boat, and as he's with the disciples, Jesus had sent him across, and now it's the middle of the night, and there's a terrible storm, and Jesus isn't in the boat, but he comes walking on the water. And the Bible says they were afraid initially. They wondered, what were they seeing? Was this some kind of a, a ghost or a spirit? And then Jesus calls out across the, the waves and the storm, and he says, peace, it's me. And Peter is so astonished, he says, Jesus, if it's you, then tell me to come. And maybe that's where you're at today. You're just saying, God, I want to take another step of faith. Now, the rest of the disciples, they, they were so happy to see Jesus, but they just said, you come to us. <laughs> Peter says, no, no, I, you just tell me to come. Wow, I love that. And Jesus says, come. And Peter gets out of the boat, and he starts walking on the water. Wow. And it was going, I believe, great. I don't know how far he was away from the boat, but too, too far to jump back in because all of a sudden he starts noticing the big waves. And maybe there was one that just kind of come up even between them and somehow he lost sight of Jesus a little bit or something. I don't know what happened. But all of a sudden it says he was afraid and he cries out, Jesus, sozo. He says, save me. But that's the Greek word, sozo. Restore me. Save me. And Jesus said, oh, Peter, you little faith. I want to strengthen your faith. Maybe, maybe this Christmas, God's calling you, calling you deeper. See, friends, sozo, sozo. That's what God did to the, the man that was demon-possessed. He was under a control of an evil spirit. But when, when he seen Jesus, he knew salvation. He knew sozo. And now the whole village, it said they also who had seen it told them by what means he had been demon-possessed was healed. That's the same Greek word, saved, sozo, made whole, redeemed. It's used throughout the New Testament. It's why Jesus came, and it's real. Even when we see these little nativity sets and you think, oh, that's hardly real. No, but what it stands for is very real. It's sozo, it's redemption, it's life. It's eternity with God our Father through Jesus Christ. You know, it talks about how to be saved. For by grace you've been saved. <laughs> For by grace you've been sozoed. <laughs> through faith we're healed, redeemed, made whole, saved. That not of yourselves, it's a gift of God. Throughout the scriptures, the, the end of the book says the end of the story. Talks about, well, how we're sozoed makes us to be righteous. That's what happens in sozo. He took our sin that we may be the righteousness of God. And then the end of the book says, and the nations of those who are sozoed, the, the nations of those who are saved, shall walk in its light, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory and honor to it. I would like the worship team to come, and we're, they're going to continue then with singing, but there's going to be a time here, friends, in this song, if you would just simply, maybe there's a need in your own heart, the altar's open, and if you'd want somebody to pray, we'll, we'll, somebody will pray with you. If you just want to say, all I want to do is just Touch his garment. I, I'm doing this in faith. May you do it during this song as, as they sing. This song is a song that 
talks about I'm no longer a slave to fear, but I'm a child of God. And maybe that's just a witness in your own heart. And if it is, feel free in this song. There'll be more songs after. If you just need God to touch you, would you let him do that this Christmas? Let's meet the Lord.
joy to
Amen. Hallelujah. do one more song angels we've heard all night and I just want to say after this song you're going to be dismissed and I want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas this Christmas as you celebrate the real Jesus in your heart angels we have heard on high sweetly singing